Hakatown is the capital of Chin State, located in the northwest of Myanmar. Uh, it's a predominantly ethnic state um, for the Chin people. Um, the town is located in a mountainous area uh, beneath the Rung Mountain, uh, which until recently was heavily forested. So over the last five years or ten years, the town has increasingly suffered from uh, a lack of water, especially in the dry season. And because of that, it caused great difficulty for the people that live in the town. Our research has three objectives. The first objective is to understand why there is water insecurity in Hacker Town. Uh, the second objective was to look at decision-making processes around water, or what we, what we might call water governance. The third objective is then to make recommendations as to how we could improve the situation so that everybody can access water. So our main research finding is that Hacker Town does suffer major water insecurity. One of the main reasons is that there's a reduction in the amount of water available. Uh, this is because much of the water is sourced from the mountainside and the mountainside has become deforested. Uh, it's deforested for a range of reasons including the construction of a road, the construction of houses, agriculture and even the construction of a military base on top of the mountain. Um, how do people then meet their water needs? Well, Hakka is a very interesting place in that because there's no municipal water supply, local people have organized themselves around many small streams in the, in the town and in the mountain to bring it directly to their homes. Um, whilst that can help alleviate some basic needs for water, it still doesn't solve all the problems. Um, another thing to bear in mind is that the population of Hakka has also rapidly increased from about 10,000 people in the 1980s to over 45,000 people now. So in response, in 2014, the Myanmar government started the construction of a new project called the Timit Dam. Uh, it has the potential to reduce water insecurity by bringing in a new source of water, but at the same time, the project has a relative lack of transparency at the moment and seems to be behind schedule. Then most recently, in uh, June 2015, there was a major landslide that also related to the deforestation as well as the heavy rainfall. And because of that, over 900 people had to resettle to a new place in the town. Uh, those people also have been struggling with water insecurity as well as uncertainty about how they can rebuild their lives. Our main recommendation is to recognize that water insecurity is not just an engineering challenge, but it also should recognize the social issues that are at play. And so our main recommendation is to link together the engineering approaches that we can see, such as the large dam, with the social analysis to see how water is governed through the local water committees. More specifically, uh, we would recommend to the Chin government to continue their efforts uh, to improve urban planning, both around the expansion of the town and also around the management of water. And that also relates to improving the watershed management around the town. Uh, for the Hakka municipality, we would recommend that they integrate their municipalization of water strategy to coordinate it with the local water resources uh, committees that manage the local small streams. And then finally, for the elders committee and for the civil society groups, we'd encourage them to encourage participation in the projects that are being undertaken, both to address water insecurity, but then also in the resettlement of the people that had to move because of the landslides. I'm happy to say thank you to Dr. Carl and his team that uh, they have done on water governance uh, research at Hakka Town. And then uh, this will be very helpful and it is a uh, great contribution to the community. I would like to add one thing regarding to the landslides happened in 2015. The landslide affected people moved to the new settlement called Hakka Tur. And then we are more than 4,000 people. 
and we stayed we have been staying for one years now and then we have been facing many problems at the new uh, the new place concerning regarding education communication and our water we have been facing many problems you know the main the main problem now we are, we are facing is our water for cooking we don't have any water we have to buy for drinking also we don't have we have to buy if we don't have money to buy just we have to wait for raining and then when when the rain is coming just we keep water we fetch water drink water and then we cook home. this is the we are facing problem in Hakka uh, especially to the new place uh, the affected people by landslide how long this problem will be continued I don't know but I think that it will be covered soon thank you very much